Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Dalton at Dalton today 95 Country with another Transformer Studio Series video. And today we're taking a look at something that's been three years in the making, maybe four. I don't know. I've lost count at this point. But we're taking a look at the Studio Series 86, number 26, Swoop. So finally, our last Dinobot for Studio Series lineup. So there he is. Again, open window packaging. Got him there in Dino mode. 21 steps between robot and Pteranodon mode. Battle of Autobot City. Would have been nice if it was the Battle of Unicron. And then there is that. So yeah, let's go ahead and get them opened and check them out. And here we have Swoop out of packaging. And, you know, looking pretty good for, you know, what it is. I know some people aren't too happy with some of the proportions. There is one major thing that I'm not too thrilled about. And that is the Pteranodon beak. It just looks awful in beast mode but overall looking pretty good you've got some nice silver here for the wings if you want to have those fully extended you can but it's more for dino mode of course you got some nice silver paint there on the face his face does look a little bit better than some of the comic-con picks or was it comic-con or toy fair so maybe it was comic-con last year just looked very bizarre yeah, definitely looks a lot better now. We've got some nice red paint, or not red paint, red plastic on the upper torso here. No paint on the arms. We do, of course, get the gold paint all throughout here. Blue eyes on both modes. Get some silver and gold right here along the thighs. Get some black paint on the shins. I believe the feet are molded in black. Got some red here along the calf. As far as accessories go, you do get his two rocket launchers. They are hollowed out and missing the bottom half of, you know, this kind of cylinder piece. Now, I believe that is mostly just so he can fit the weapon in his hand. So you can do that if you want, or you can just plug them on his arms like a seeker. And... The missiles are removable, so if you want, you can give him a blast effect and make it look like he's firing the missile. So you've got that. Oh, I put that off to the side. You also get a very toy style sword because they never had their swords in the cartoon as far as as my knowledge. You also get Grimlock Sword. So it'll just like how the comic Grimlock comes with the Sludge and Slag's sword as well as a comic version of Grimlock's. You get these with Swoop. So go ahead and get into articulation then we'll do our comparisons. Go ahead and remove that just for now. Head is on a ball joint as well as a hinge for the transformation. So you get quite a good range of motion. If you move the wing out of the way, you can get a full 360 out of the arm, all the way out. See, this is how you do shoulders, Hasbro. You put the joint inside the arm. Look how much better that is. Get a bicep swivel. Get just bare. No, not even a, not even over. So you get 90 degrees. You get wrist swivel, but it is kind of locked in by the forearm. Get slight waist swivel side to side, forward and back on a very soft ratchet joint. Get all the way out to there. Very tight thigh swivel, double jointed knees due to the transformation. And super deep ankle tilt, as well as a little bit forward and back on the foot. Although it is actually not, it does lock into place. So, yeah, that's all for transformation right there. Go ahead and bring in the other Dinobots. Go ahead and bring in Snarl, who I just got, I think, in April. April or June. Got Slag or Slug. Slag if you're a real one. And here we have Sludge. And of course, you can't have the Dinobots without their king, Grimlock. 
right, let me fix this. This is all kinds of all over the place. So there we go. Finally completed our team of Dinobots. And now, now a lot of people are wanting a leader or Voyager size scar. I personally don't need it, but I think it still would be an awesome addition. So I would without a doubt welcome it. Go ahead and get these guys out of the way. And we'll real quick show off the new swords. So this sword I got from Non-F, along with the rest of the upgrades for Grimlock. So we'll compare swords. They are pretty close to the same size. This little uh, guard piece, I guess, comes up a little bit further. This has got a bit of a broader base. It is, uh, I'd say it's a little bit shorter. But it's still... Works very nicely with Grimlock, so I don't know. I might still keep them with this one just because I like the orange with the black a little bit better. But it's not going to keep me from just putting this right here, keeping it on his back, and then we'll give him that. Or I might give that to the G2 one that we're supposed to be getting in Wave 1 of Age of the Primes. Here we got Swoop. We'll go ahead and get him into dino mode. Well, not even really dino mode because he's technically not a dinosaur, if you ask pale paleontologists. He is just a flying reptile. So go ahead and flip in his hands. And from here, we'll go ahead and split the torso. Open up this crest. Bring the head forward. Clap the crest down. That will lock the head into place. Bring this all up, along with that neck piece. Then from here, we collapse the torso in towards itself. There we go, and the torso will plug together just like that. Next, we got a tab slot, tab slot, and we'll just go together. Bring this neck piece forward. There we go. All right, then from here, we'll go ahead and collapse the heel, open up the wings, then we'll just go ahead and bring this whole piece up. There is a slot right there. We'll just go right on to that tab. that same thing on this other side up then we'll take the wing tips here fold those out to give him his full proper wings bring up the towns here and there is swoop in beast mode and yeah uh biggest problem with this is just the beast mode head is too large for the body it just looks too bulbous needs to be a little bit thinner, I think. And then that overbite is just ridiculous. Or I guess underbite in this case. I don't know. It should, I think, at least come to it right about there. So it needs to be a little bit longer on the bottom jaw. And I can open that up. And if you want, you can put blast effects in there. Just like most of the other Dinobots. It's going to have them firing flames. Articulation in this mode is pretty much non-existent. I do get a little bit of flapping motion. You can even use these joints here, but again, it doesn't get you much, if anything at all. So all your articulations would come in here, which goes into how you can have him perched. Just bringing the wings like that and bring the head down. And there he is, perched and waiting to listen to Cup's old war stories. As far as weapon storage, there's a couple options here in beast mode. Now, much like robot mode, which I didn't show it off, you do have these, which were, you know, the back of the wings. But plug them in right here. Or I believe like the G1 toy, they were right here on the bottom side of the wings. Or you can just plug them on the shoulders of the robot mode. But, you know, 
think that's a little bit more how he's supposed to be. And the sword you can just plug in on the side like that. And of course, you can also move these toes up and down if you want to look, make him look like he's flying. I wish these were blast effect compatible, so you'd have him like th throwing flames, but unfortunately, they are not compatible. So there he is. Let's go ahead and get the rest of the Dinobots in their Dino modes, and we'll do one more comparison before we get them to robot mode. All right, so of course we got Swoop, Grimlock, Slag. Sludge and Snarl. So finally have our five dinos complete, of course, in dino mode. Now, I'm still hoping, please Hasbro, when you do Devastator, please include the googly eyes. It's one thing I want for this. But yeah, very happy to have them finally complete. And they they do all look pretty good together. I mean, of course, Swoop is the odd man out with the blue instead of the red. Maybe they'll do a Diaclone Universe version of him. It would be cool if they did a Diaclone version of all of them, but we've had so many reissues of Grimlock as it is, and we're like I said, we're getting one in the first, first wave of Age of the Primes in blue as G2, so I don't know if they'll do a toy style one or not, but to get this guy back into robot mode, just go ahead and unfurl those. Bring these sections up, fold them back, actually just bring them to there for now. Go ahead and remove the blasters from the arms. Go ahead and untab the arms from the upper torso. Go ahead and take these back sections and form the legs, flip down the toes. They'll just fit in that groove. Just like that. Flip up foot, bring back the heel. Same thing on this side up. Bring back the heel. This should click into place. I guess it doesn't, huh? Okay, there we go. Oh, oh. Kind of. It kind of does when you get the heel out. So there's that. I'm going to fold these back up. Then you'll take these upper torso sections. They are a bit tight. I kind of do it by the actual joint just pop those out it makes a nasty clicking sound I don't know if that's bad or not and just kind of double hinge them out bring this go ahead and bring this whole section up fold this panel back up like that bring everything down you kind of want to keep those open probably do this bring that down and the top of the beak will just tab right into there. Those will just plug onto the sides of the head. Open up this top section here. Bring back the head. And that will just plug right back into there. Fold that up. Fold out the fist. It's better to just push in right here. That will pop them out. Same thing on this side. Pop the fist out like that. Bring it around. And there we have Swoop back in robot mode. So we'll go ahead and give him his weapons and get into kind of final thoughts. There we go. The heels or the feet finally clicked into place. So there we go. We're getting into final thoughts on Swoop here. He is a really fun figure, but there are some things that kind of detract, kind of weigh him down a little bit. Like in robot mode, the pterodactyl or pteranodon chest or head works fine. The problem comes in beast mode because it's just too large for the beast mode and it's got that very bad underbite. Uh, he is a little short compared to the other Dynamots. He should be around the same size. So if he was just a little bit taller, I think that would help. Like just kind of stretch him out vertically a little bit. Uh, I think that would have helped a little bit more. And I can understand why they cut out the bottom of the weapons, but it just, it still looks ugly. So, uh, interested to see what DNA or non-F does as far as upgrades. I know Toy Hacks recently put out their kit for him. But yeah, I'm, I'm still very happy to complete the Dinobots, and I hope that 
Hasbro and Takara gives us Scar in this scale. It won't be Studio Series, obviously, but it'd be nice to have him fit in with these, because I know a lot of people like the design from Volcanicus, just to have that in a void or a leader class scales and Ankylosaurus, that'd be awesome. So that pretty much does it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll try to keep it, you know, reasonable length video. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to check out those links down below and I will see you all in the next video. So, so long, take care.